Hello, this is Restore Refurb Works again with this video. Today, what we're gonna do is this tear down and clean of a Microsoft Scope Touch a wireless Bluetooth mouse. I got it recently from the marketplace, very, very pristine condition. It seems like it's not being used much, maybe in the home office before the COVID situation. So why I pick up this is uh, the unique selling point of it. Uh, the it, it doesn't come with a scroll wheel. Instead, it is a, a sensor that uh, detects uh, the scrolling up and scrolling down. So we'll have a look. Uh, it's operated by two double A uh, batteries. So before tearing it down, um, I'm trying on my own to see how it's being. Uh, dismantle filling under the stickers it doesn't seem to have any uh, screws hidden below and after some of my research right it's um, uh, there's these two clips concealed behind the uh, battery contact points you need to pry it uh, up inwards to release it on the later part of the video I'll have a close up of how it's being secured left and right after you release it it will uh, loosen up the top case so um, from my research right this mouse has been launched as early as 2012 so uh, it should seem some uh, mileage and over here you can see the clip you need to release it quite easy but um, one tip here is we try to exit force bit by bit because plastic parts uh, it might uh, crack if you are uh, pushing it too much so the middle shell right is being secured by five uh, torx screw so i have this new tool uh, it's the size is i think it's not very standard but uh, yeah it, it does the job so usually for this um, screws securing plastic parts, I will release it, uh, it balance. So I'll release from the one corner first, then the bottom corner to avoid additional stress on the plastic cracking. So to my surprise, uh, Microsoft have been very generous with this ribbon cable. So yeah, it's long and uh, it's easy for us to uh, Take it apart. So as you open it up, right, there's this small uh, spring that should shoot out. Uh, it's for the center click, giving you a response. So uh, when I'm looking at the specs of this um, mouse, right, uh, it's using this uh, blue track technology so apparently um, uh, they, uh, uh, instead of a red laser or, or, or uh, infrared right uh, it, it's emits a blue uh, light so uh, it, it it's uh, said that you can use it on various surfaces even on glass so I've tried it and uh, yeah it's uh, effective so not necessary you need to bring along a mouse pad if you are working away from home in a cafe on a park bench various surfaces so for this center uh, click scroll portion right is secured with two screws on the uh, sister pcb board then the pivot of this whole assembly is secured by three screws uh, you've seen me removing it and uh, trying to dismantle it further for this gray portion it seems like it's glued shut and i do not wish to uh, dismantle further otherwise i'll get a non-working mouse so for here right you see that it's being connected to the leads and, and two uh, wires for the power really sensitive um, uh, circuitry so um, it, it feels a bit weird when you are using the mouse because when you're scrolling down there's this 
vibrating feedback. Uh, it really takes a while to get used. Uh, you are either love it or hate it, but I can say that most people will not be used to. So working onto the main board, it's a very very compact board. A lot of uh, resistors, chips are, are crammed into this T-shaped uh, PCB. Further is inspecting the board, right? I can see that it's really well built. The um, positive and negative uh, leads for the battery are well designed and soldered sharp onto the board. The co gold contact parts are really generous, and this um, you can see on the bottom left. This switches were removed from another gaming mouse so i wonder that if these um, switches on the stock microsoft mouse if it fails should it be uh, interchangeable because uh, the height it seems a bit different just a fraction of um, looking at the back of the board there's some um, so-called looks like moisture uh, or, or flux when uh, after the manufacture we should clean it shortly as usual uh, spraying a bit of uh, contact cleaner on the brush cleaning the uh, board so it, it seems interesting you can see the black color uh, chip in the sense uh, in the in the center of the board it looks like a sensor from a camera looking at the front densely populated I do not want to use too much of a force I've misplaced some footage in between uh, so the main uh, PCB has been installed to the bottom case so the assembly I sped it up it will be the reverse way for this ribbon cable it feels very very hardy so you do not need to be extra careful with it making sure all the uh, plastic parts sits well before securing it with the screws so um, another tip here is um, when these plastic parts are being molded uh, they are not threaded and these uh, screws are uh, self-tapping screw so it will be good that when you put it in try to not to uh, force it in if need be you can uh, uh, unscrew it counterclockwise until the screw book uh, drops in then you can uh, proceed with tightening it up the last two screws for the uh, sister board do remember the small spring that resides there uh, it will give you uh, some resistance for the uh, center button so now we can see that it's quite uh, easy to install the, the top to the bottom. Fitting the top and the bottom, I did it twice. The first time wise, the top right part of the case didn't sit in completely. So just make sure everything, the seams are nice, equal then you, uh, you go ahead and uh, close it up so closing up um, as I mentioned I would like to uh, install the screws on opposite corners first making sure there's not too much pressure or at any one time and uh, do not uh, screw in uh, totally maybe 80% of it 
and then once every, uh, the, everything is uh, seated nicely we proceed to uh, tighten uh, every screw and double checking it Installing the uh, top piece, it might take a few tries. Uh, do note that there's this hook part. You need to slide it in first. Make sure both left and right are, are uh, goes in properly. Then uh, clipping it on. So do be gentle as uh, plastic parts will break easily. <laughs> okay, check in and out. Left right button, center button, the scroll with the batteries make sure the uh, it's being connected to the PC and we are done coming to the end of today's video if you have liked it do click on the like button for more contents do subscribe to my channel if you are stay on until the end of this video a big thank you to you this is restore refer words